Declarations in lieu of personal testimony in California. Why do debt collectors use them and what can be done about them? This is a declaration in lieu of live testimony or an affidavit in lieu of personal testimony and debt collectors use them because it makes their job a lot easier. Now, this is what it looks like basically here. You've got uh, the name of the document, declaration or affidavit in lieu of personal testimony at trial according to Code of Civil Procedure or pursuant to Code of Civil Procedure Section 98. Uh, code of Civil Procedure Section 98, that is the code section that lets them do this. It lets them bring written testimony instead of live testimony to a trial. There are some rules they have to follow and you can use those rules to your advantage. Now typically what we have here is a declaration that's written uh, by the debt collection lawyer. They write whatever they think is necessary to help their case. And then it's signed by the employee of the plaintiff, which is the creditor or the debt buyer. Um, and, you know, I use the name here RoboSigner because I believe that most of the time these witnesses don't actually read these documents. They just sign whatever is given them. And this is not real valid testimony. It's a lie as far as I'm concerned. I think that a lot of these witnesses say that they are presenting evidence when they're just signing a document that's prepared by their lawyer without even reading it or questioning it. Now why do they do this? Well, as I said, it makes their job easier. Debt collectors, uh, they file thousands of lawsuits uh, per year and at any one time uh, dozens or hundreds of trials in a day so they need to be able to do it easily your job is to not let them do it easily. So it makes their job easier to try to proceed with this document instead of a live witness. Now what can you do? Well, you can object and demand a live witness. Code of Civil Procedure Section 98, this document or this, this code section, uh, provides that they can do this, but it provides uh, you with some rights. Specifically, it provides that you get to object and use all the same objections you would use for a live witness. Hearsay, lack of foundation. In California, we have Evidence Code Section 1523. You should read it. It's really useful. And uh, you can file written objections to this, lodge written objections. You can object orally at trial. And you can apply all the same Evidence Code sections that you would apply to a live witness. What's really useful also is the ability to, number one, uh, the right to receive this document 30 days before trial. If they don't give this to you 30 days before trial, you don't have to ask for it. If they want to use it, they have to prepare it ahead of time and give it to you 30 days before. If they're late, they don't get to do it. They don't get to use it. Okay. If they do give you this 30 days before trial or more, you then can subpoena their witness. and you can say, no, thank you. I do not want you to proceed on documents only. I want you to bring a live witness. And the way you do that is you serve a notice to appear or a subpoena, and you can serve that uh, on this witness. They have to provide you with an address that's within 150 miles of the courthouse. Now, what they'll do a lot of times is cheat. The witness is often uh, three, four, five states away, but they'll use their lawyer's address in this case, uh, Hunton Enriquez is the debt collection lawyer, and this particular person is stating that you can serve her with service of process at uh, Hunton Enriquez's address. It's actually not proper to do it that way. Uh, we've objected successfully and have these uh, declarations uh, uh, disallowed. Uh, because it's not a proper practice, but uh, even if you don't object to this, this is the, that is the address that you can use to serve a subpoena or notice to appear, um, and it is typically provided in the last paragraph or so, just before the signature line. What is the point of this video? It's do not let them have an easy trial. Why would you let them do what they want? Why would you let them have an easy time of it? Make them bring a live witness. Object to this. Use the evidence code objections that you have available to you. And don't let them bring this case to trial on easy documents that they prepared for their own benefit. Object and use a subpoena or a notice to appear to make them bring a live witness. You have rights, but time is of the essence. 
Now we provide free consultations here at the Fulman Firm. Everybody gets 10 minutes for free. 888-922-2367. Good luck.